Hello team, welcome back. Welcome to the Docker for DevOps training. And in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss how we can install the Docker on Windows. So we will learn about the different different kind of additions of the Docker which can be installed on Windows. So we will see what kind of Docker additions is useful or on which Windows and which we can install on the Windows and which we can install on the Windows servers. We'll also learn about the type of containers Windows can run. After this, we will learn the Docker additions which we need to install on the Windows. We will see the differences between the Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. So these are the things which we are going to cover in this particular lecture. So we have two kind of containers. So what are the containers? We will learn about the containers in the coming lectures. But for the short description, we can see the container is a process which will be executed by the Docker. So container is a process which is running inside the Docker. So container has two types, the Linux containers and the Windows containers, right? So late in 2016, Windows releases and announced the Windows native containers. So right now we have two containers available with the Docker additions. First is the Linux container, which is the native with the Docker and second is Windows container. Windows container can be used only with the Windows machines, but vice versa, Linux container can be used with the Windows machine and with the Linux machine as well. And on the Mac as well, we will learn the Linux containers. Linux containers are still the default containers because Linux container were released with the Docker primary editions, which was uh, earlier, I think in 2012, right? So when the Docker first released their official release in the market, then the container was the Linux container. And don't confuse with the terms the container and Docker. We will learn about the complete container concepts in this particular course. Right now, we just need to know container is something or it's something like a process which will be executing inside the Docker or Docker which execute the containers, right? So container has two types, the Linux, which is default and the Windows. In this course, we will learn about the Linux containers. So in this particular course, we are not going to cover up the Windows containers. We are not going to execute the Docker on the Windows machine. We will execute the Docker on the Linux machine and we will see how Linux machines can handle, use, deploy and create the Linux containers. So in this particular course, when I'm saying or when I'm talking about the containers, then by default, I'm talking about the Linux containers. Now we will talk about the Windows Docker versions. So Windows have two kind of Dockers, right? So Windows native Docker is associated with the Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise Edition only. If you are using Windows 10 home base uh, operating system, then native Windows Docker will not execute on your Windows machine. So if you want to execute the Windows Docker version on your Windows machine, then it is mandatory that you would have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise Edition available on your desktop on laptop. But if you are using some older version of the Windows, like you are using Windows 8, you are using Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Vista, or you are using Windows 10 home base versions, right? Then there is a different kind of Docker which is available for your machine, which is called Docker Toolbox. So Docker Toolbox is a complete toolbox of the Docker set which have the Docker machine to execute the Docker. We will learn about the differences between the Windows Dockers and Docker Toolbox uh, toolbox in the coming slides. Right now, we just need to know if you want to execute and you want to install the native Docker for the Windows, then Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise Edition is required on your machine. If you don't have Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise Edition, then you can install the Docker toolbox on your machine to execute the Docker on your Windows machine. Windows Server 2016 
also supports the windows containers so windows server 2016 is a server uh, server side technology of the windows so fortunately we have the docker native installation available for the windows server 2016 if you are using windows server 2008 windows server 2008 r2 windows server 2001 then docker native release is not available with this particular windows server but if you are using windows server 2016 then docker native release is available with the with the windows 2016 you can use it install it and that will be capable to run windows containers on your machine so we will learn how we can install the docker or windows 10 pro or enterprise edition so for this we need to go to the link https store.docker.com so let's see how we will go to this link and what we will find out over this link so you can see we are on store.docker.com and as we have seen or discussed in the earlier lectures we have two kind of versions available of the docker which is docker enterprise edition and docker community edition so we will go to the community editions and over here i have eight release available for the community edition as we need to find out the windows one so we will choose the operating system windows and over here i have docker community edition for the windows right i will click this particular link so now we can see docker community edition for the windows by docker which is supported windows and operating time system is 64 all the information which is required is being mentioned over here right so docker ce for windows is a docker designed to run on windows 10 it is a native windows application that provides easy to use development environment for building shipping and running dockerized apps so to install it you just need to double click the docker for windows installer right when installation finish docker starts automatically so we will see from where we will find out that particular link right so to download the docker edition you need to log into the docstore.docker.com so let's see what we will get so i am going to log into this particular website so you can see i have logged in on the store.docker.com over here i am getting my username and over here i am getting a link to download the docker you just need to click this link and this will basically download the docker installer on your windows machine after that you need to and this this will be a exe file so you need to double click to execute this particular exe file Right now I don't have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise edition available on my laptop so I can't show you the practical demo but I can explain how you can basically uh, get this you just go to this get docker and you can see a downloading is being started and it's an exe version right so the total size is 516 MB so I'm going to stop it right and over here if you want or uh, you want to choose some kind of builds then you can choose over here i am getting two builds the docker ce for windows stable release and docker ce for windows edge release we have already discussed the st stable and about the edge release in the previous lectures so once the complete download will done you need to double click that particular exe file to install the docker and follow the instructions when it will complete the installation it will ask you to reboot your machine you need to reboot your machine and after that uh, you will get this particular kind of icon in your icons on your windows right which you can open from the left bottom side of your windows machine if you want to verify the windows on your machine then you can open the powershell and execute the command docker version it will return you the install docker version on your machine and you will get a icon like this on your toolbox on windows right so this is the way how we can install the native docker on the windows 10 right now suppose we want to install the docker toolbox and when we need to install the docker toolbox if we are using a windows which is not uh, a windows 10 pro or windows 10 enterprise edition 
so how we can basically install the docker toolbox so let's see how we can install the docker toolbox Docker again and i will go to the docker store i will go to the docker community edition and i will choose the windows in operating system this is the same link which we have clicked in the last i will click the same and over here if you see you are getting information requires microsoft windows 10 professional or enterprise edition 64 for the previous versions get docker toolbox this is the link you need to click this link and over here we are getting a complete instruction of the docker toolbox so we need to go to scroll down the page and click this particular link get docker toolbox for windows once you will click this particular link it will download an executable file on your machine to install the docker you need to click that particular executable file and it will install the docker on your windows a machine which is prior to windows 10 pro or windows 10 enterprise edition if you have windows 10 pro or windows 10 enterprise edition available on your machine you directly download the docker as we have discussed previously in the same lecture right now suppose you want to install docker server uh, 2016 right or you want to install the docker native docker on your windows server 2016 so how can we do that so we need to go to the docker store right and over here there is a limitation we need to go to the docker enterprise editions because docker native docker is not available in the community edition for the windows server 2016 so i need to go to the docker enterprise edition just click this link choose the operating system windows and you will get the link docker enterprise edition for windows server 2016 you simply click this particular link and to download the docker for the docker enterprise edition so for the windows server 2016 you need to click this link get docker or over here we can see we are not getting the stable or edge releases why we are not getting the stable or edge releases because we are in the docker enterprise edition and enterprise edition always have the stable release of the docker once the complete file will download you are getting the complete instruction over here to install the docker on your machines so after that you need to open the powershell and you need to execute the command install module docker provider force install package docker provider docker uh, provider name and docker provider force after that you can see how the docker is being installed on your machine or not right by simply this command so this is the way how we can install the docker on windows machines and on windows servers we are not we have not covered the complete practical of this particular lecture because this particular course is all about to execute the docker on the linux machine so we didn't execute it, the docker installation on the windows there's a one more thing if you are using any kind of virtual machine setup on your windows machine then you would not be able to install the docker on your windows machine so to that do that we need to uninstall the virtual machine setup on your machine and format your machine to install the docker because inside your windows docker will execute hyper v which is not uh, compatible with the virtual machines right so if you are already running some kind of virtual machine on your docker sorry on your windows machine then you can't install the docker on windows so there are some similar kind of uh, or a set of limitations with the docker for windows so we are going to choose that linux for this particular course so thank you guys we will see you in the next lecture